Hi, Don. You are here in Italy for the Meet the Media Guru <coughs> event. And this is a good opportunity for our students to have some suggestions from you about their curriculum and their challenges, the new challenges that uh, the new interaction design uh, posed to them. So I would like to ask you, what is at the moment the uh, relationships between um, psychology that's been one of the founding discipline of interaction design and interaction design? And then what are, what is the, the best curricula you can think about uh, for um, someone who wants to become an interaction designer? Design is a complex topic. To be a great designer, you must know technology. You must be something of an artist, and you must know psychology, and you must know business. So that means a designer must know a large number of different topics. It's actually a wonderful challenge. A great interaction designer is actually an applied social scientist, because what you are trying to do is interact with people and maybe change people's understanding, people's behavior. And this means you have to understand the psychology. And with the new media, where we talk a lot about interaction with Twitter and Facebook and blogs, and for that matter, text messages, people talking to people, Foursquare, where we see where people are and what stores are going into, all of that is social psychology and networks. And so, the interaction designer of today must understand something of the technologies they are designing for, must have an artistic sense to make things attractive, emotionally fun, pleasurable, but must also, most important of all, understand the psychology of interaction and the social psychology of networks. So what is the best curriculum to study to become an effective designer? You must understand the technology, so there must be some, some instruction in the technology of not just websites, but also uh, mobile phones and um, all of the new technologies that are used in communication. Second, some understanding of the fundamental principles of interaction, of feedback, of knowledge of results, of conceptual models, of affordances, principles of psychology. Then principles of social psychology, the way that people interact with each other and the way that people form their opinions and the way that people behavior is shaped. Finally, it's really important to understand business because too many designers design for what they think would be exciting but are not necessarily effective for business. So you must understand something about what drives business, what causes customers to purchase things what leads to profits or what leads to losses. Because no matter how great the design, if it doesn't sell, if it doesn't lead to a profit, it will not be used. So the curriculum is complex because you must know a bit about business, a bit about technology, a bit about art, and actually quite a bit about people, social psychology, and cognitive psychology. Have fun. Public administration today have to reconsider their relationships uh, with the citizen because these new media are changing the way in which communication occurs. What can be your suggestion for uh, especially small public administration and the way in which they should face their relationships with the citizen? The new media are very powerful in that they allow direct interaction among people. So for the first time a company or a public administration can find exactly how people are responding to their services. So people will complain, tell you what is going wrong, but they also will praise and say what is happening, what is going right. So the best way for a company or a public administration to deal with this is to take advantage of it, to read what your customers or citizens are saying and respond. Customers and citizens very much like it when they feel that their company or their administrators are listening to them and paying attention and responding to their needs and requirements. So the new media is wonderful because for the first time we have immediate feedback about what is going well and what is going wrong. And 
it gives us an opportunity to respond back, to say, we are listening and we are responding to your requirements.